<laughs> Good day. It is time. <laughs> it is time now for politics and punditry from the Eagle's Nest. Unfortunately, my only guests tonight are Messrs. Andy and Randy Pig. Messer, 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 Messer. What happened to Bob Novak? He's sick. I know that, but why isn't he here? <laughs> oh, uh, anyway. Today's topic is the International Peace Accord signed this week in Geneva. Will the Peace Accord hold Andy Pig? Let's see. Um, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm seeing if the Peace Accord will hold Mr. Andy Pig, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> That's not what I meant. H hey, hmm? why don't we see if a Peace Accord will hold Mr. Birdie? Yeah! Come on. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm an endangered species. Oh, great mother of mercy. Hey, Mr. Birdie, what's the next topic? It was arms control. Oh, good, because I can't control my arms. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, my arms are out of control, too. Hey, can next week's topic be head control? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, why didn't I take the bowling show they offered me? Oh. Hey, hey, what the heck is going on in there? Yeah, Marty's still eating Mama's sauce. What's it to you, rat? <laughs> Don't talk tough to me, monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, come here! <laughs> We're almost ready for the final number, Clifford. Where's Martin Short? Oh, Nigel, cool down. Rizzo went to check on him. Well, where's Rizzo? <laughs> in here. Oh, I'll straighten this out. Uh, QQ to two-headed comet. The, the, the two-headed comic, where did he come from? Oh, we found him standing next to the nuclear-powered toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Say, mm? who was that lady I saw you with last night? That was no lady, that was you! <laughs> oh, sorry. Here, have some toast. Yo, Martin, we need you out on stage. You're on in five... Ooh. Hundred pounds? Wow, now he's Martin short and fat. Man, what are we gonna do now? <gasps> Don't worry, Clifford. I promise you a dance number, and a dance oh. number I shall perform. <laughs> hey, what smells so good? And now here he is, the all-singing, all-dancing Mr. Martin Short! Yeah! Stepping out with my baby can do wrong. Goodbye, I'm in right. For sure, not for maybe. That I'm all dressed up tonight. Oh, good grief. Does he look a tad heavier to you? Define tad. About two tons. And yes, I'd say he looks a tad heavier. Uh oh. Not for maybe. That I'm all dressed up tonight. I'm sailing because I'm. Number two, you're not getting all of them in shot. Pull back. Pull back. Pull hello, back. hello. Pull, pull back. back. Pull back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's far enough. <laughs> I'll get him up. <laughs> yeah. The big night will be tonight. to him, even Miss Piggy seems thin. <laughs> Come off it, he's not that big. <laughs> 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 the big day may be <laughs> Well, now he's Martin Short and lying motionless in the basement. Oh, well, that's okay. Everything's under control. Yeah. All we need is for Clifford to come out and say his good nights. Mm. Well, we can't find Clifford. What? Somebody find him. Somebody get him out here okay, right I'll... now. Okay. Somebody find him. Uh, whoa. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's our show. 
How about a big round of applause for our big round guest star, Mr. Martin Short? <laughs> Give it up. Yo, Marty, Marty, it was great having you on the show. Oh, thanks, Clifford. I felt like I grew as an entertainer. <laughs> you look like you've grown as a landmass. <laughs> Don't start with me, you. Uh-oh. Floor creaking. Not good. Then say good night. Good night. Whoa, whoa. Hey, what's going on out here? Is it a problem? What is this? A hole over here? Hey, hey, who put this hole out? That was quite a program. I would have only changed one thing. What's that? The channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, do you know what the problem is these days? They put this show back on the air? <laughs> no, it's the fact that the kids don't have a chance to fail. Uh. In the old days, uh, we had a little thing that you used to call a, a vaudeville. And if you couldn't spin a plate, you didn't eat. Which is what I told the great Sophie Tucker in a song I wrote for her. <laughs> for the Broadway show entitled Wigwam Serenade. <laughs> Give me a C, a bouncy C. <laughs> Sophie Tucker was quite a girl, a red-hot mama who could make a plate twirl. The kids today, they don't have a clue with those nine-inch nails in the band U2. My scrambled eggs were runny today. <laughs> Deal, whatever the heck else you want to put in there. <laughs> Good idea. I think I'll join you. <laughs> I love you, Ma. I love Join you, Ma. us again tomorrow night at 7.30 when the wonderful world of Disney presents Candle Shoe. And stay tuned as we get on the bus to a dimension so weird. Next on the Disney Channel. Oh, oh my arm is caught on that thing. Sorry there, Mr. Fiamma. Stupid monkey. Okay. I got gas. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. The frog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So the pond has not been cleaned. <laughs> <laughs>